Welcome, traveller. I see that you are lost on the way to New Zealand. Not a problem. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 greatest Minecraft creations. For this list, we're looking at the most creative, ambitious, and impressive creations to ever be made by the Minecraft community. What's the most impressive build you've seen in the game? Did it make the list? Let us know in the comments below. Number 20, Matu Polis, Matu Finn. We've seen plenty of forests, deserts, mountains, and arctic tundras in Minecraft, but the closest we've gotten to man-made areas are villages, temples, and pillager towers. So what would a Minecraft city look like? Well, user Matufin managed to create a massive metropolis that had gone through two construction processes before settling on this rendition. Humbly named Matupolis, this city pulls various architecture and geography from western Pacific regions, most notably Seattle, Washington, and Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. One could easily get lost exploring the various skyscrapers, bending highways, and calming beaches. Admittedly, we'd probably take a vacation here if we could. Number 19. Mount Olympus, Chaos Olymp. Mount Olympus has gone through several iterations across movies, television, and of course, video games. So it was only a matter of time before someone tried recreating it in Minecraft. User Chaos Olymp did a marvelous job at capturing the splendor and might of Olympus. It truly looks like a place fit for the gods, though something about it looks awfully familiar. PlayStation fans may recognize the main building at the top is based off the same version of Mount Olympus featured in the acclaimed God of War series. Now we just gotta flood this place and it'll truly look like Kratos' home. What, too soon? Number 18, Slums and Manors, Sebastian Maker. We wouldn't have expected a place called Slums and Manors to look so exceptionally beautiful, both in visuals and structure. This little town made by user Sebastian Maker hangs on the side of a hill and wields a bit of mystery. Who owns the massive mansion at the top? How much power do they possess over the village at the bottom? How many assassins might have tried taking them down to liberate the village? You know what? Maybe we're getting ahead of ourselves and this is just a piece based on unjust hierarchy in impoverished towns. Regardless, this is still a fun map to explore and take in the sights. Number 17, Flower Corpse, Dr. Bond. While buildings and architecture have been a prominent theme when it comes to creating stuff in Minecraft, many others have used blocks to build astounding sculptures. This one from user Dr. Bond is one piece we're more than happy to highlight. Here, a large skeleton sits on a throne surrounded by flowers, bony arms, and a pair of majestic wings behind it. Honestly, this looks like it could serve as the cover of a heavy metal album, particularly for a band like Trivium or Avenged Sevenfold. The only thing it's missing is that loud and obnoxious parental advisory sticker. Number 16, Denmark. The Danish Geodata Agency. We get it, traveling is incredibly expensive. That's why we have Moja Travels to help you decide where to go. Go subscribe for more. However, if you don't have the cash or just want to spend more time in Minecraft, well, the Danish Geodata Agency invites you to Denmark. Or at least they did. 
when they first built it. Yes, the country was made on a one-to-one -one scale, meaning the entire country was basically Minecraftified with complete accuracy. Unfortunately, some visitors managed to blow up most of the map after they found a workaround on the map's disabled TNT setting. While Denmark became a popular map among many players, it appears to be unavailable to download today. Number 15, Cologne Cathedral, Divine Medicus. Denmark may not be available anymore, but there is still one European landmark you can visit, one that serves as a proud piece of Germany's history. The Cologne Cathedral comes to us from the blocky hands of user Divine Medicus. This piece of Gothic architecture boasts an insane amount of detail from the crevices and edges of the walls to the angelic statues in the courtyard. <laughs> It may not have taken Divine Medicus 600 years to finish building it like the real thing, but we couldn't imagine this taking shorter than a couple of years too. Number 14, The Acropolis, Paleotech. Let's take one more moment to appreciate the style of Greek architecture as we take a look at the Acropolis. A trio of builders known as Paleotech were able to build a one-to-one -one replica of the real-world landmark. Now you can take in the majestic temples, unique layout, and gorgeous scenery without having to hop on a plane and draining your wallet. Of course, nothing ever holds a candle to the original, but this recreation of the Acropolis is still worthy of a few visits. Those eager to see more amazing builds might want to keep their eyes on Paleotech. Number 13, Witchcraft and Wizardry, The Flu Network. Yeah, it was only a matter of time before we started slapping fictional locations on this list, but hey, we can't help it. We're a pop culture channel after all, and so we have to commend the Flu Network in their efforts to recreate the famed school from the Harry Potter franchise, Hogwarts Academy. This isn't just a map to explore either, this is practically a full-blown mod. Use your wand to cast spells, explore Diagon Alley, uncover secrets, and even take part in a game of Quidditch. Whether you're a fan of the wizarding world or just Minecraft in general, this is definitely worth the download. Number 12, Map Zlon 2020, Quantix Build. In case you aren't familiar with them, Quantix Build is a French team of Minecraft builders that have gone to make wondrous and breathtaking maps based around fantasy, mythology, and science fiction. Lord of Time and Nova Sela City are some of the most impressive of their work, but the best map they've made is by far Map Zlon 2020. With its forest of reefs, ancient ruins, and Atlantis-esque city, this underwater utopia is a place you could definitely get lost in. This map isn't just good for meandering about though, it also holds jump courses, a PvP arena, a boat race, and archery practice. It's practically its own little amusement park. Number 11, Earth, Let's Lente. Just to temper expectations, no, this is not an exact recreation of the planet Earth. Do you know how long it would take to rebuild every single part of the globe? No, this is more of a 1 to 1500 scale version of the Earth, as its creator so puts it. Let's Lente spent a painstakingly long time of near 40 hours to assemble this map and it required a lot of layering and attention to detail. Admittedly, there are some areas that are not in their entirely accurate biome, but as Let's Lente explains in his making of video, the goal was to maintain as much realism as possible while also incorporating all of the biomes featured in Minecraft. We won't get nitpicky from where we stand, mission accomplished. Number 10, Tetris Escape, Prime Austin. Video games have come a long way since Tetris debuted in 1984, and at this point, it's hard to think of any gaming platform that doesn't have Tetris on it, let alone a clone of it. Of course, one user had to find some way to get the block stacking title into Minecraft, 
and that user was Prime Austin. The only difference here is that instead of placing the blocks yourself, you'll have to escape as the blocks fall. You can use potions to make the game easier or harder for yourself, and it's compatible with whatever settings you toggle onto your server. If you want a real challenge, maybe try out the hardcore mode after you beat the normal difficulty. Number 9. The Tourist, Stratocrafteur. So many of us dream to go to a place as beautiful as Paris and witness its fantastic art, food, and culture. Unfortunately, that kind of trip isn't possible for all of us, so why not take a gander at a somewhat accurate and condensed version? Built by user Stratocrafteur, the tourist features various landmarks from Paris into one map. However, you aren't here just for a little sightseeing, there's a mystery to uncover in this adventure map, and it's what makes this build so unique. Plus, it comes with a few redstone minigames for you to discover. Number 8, Babylon, Roy Lewis. We're going far back for this one, back to ancient times when the city of Babylon was alive and thriving. Granted, this version of the historic city isn't exactly alive, but as you're wandering around, it certainly feels like a civilization once inhabited it. From simple huts and shacks to grander structures like temples and palaces, this genuinely looks like it could have been the real deal, minus the voxel aesthetic, of course. Considering no one knows what the city really looked like, this is probably the best idea we've had. Props to Roy Lewis. Number 7, Aihu, Builders Community Japan. The team known as Builders Community Japan may not have made as many maps as some of our other featured creators, but holy moly, their stuff looks as if they were ripped straight out of a fantasy movie. City of Estelita was a fantastic first project, but Aihu is something else entirely. This is a city that has been clustered together to form one multi-layered metropolis with all sorts of balconies and hidden corners as well as Japanese architecture. And if you think it looks breathtaking in daylight, you ought to check out the place when it glows at night. Number 6, iPhone 6, Craftronics. Sure, the Minecraft community is overflowing with talented builders, however, we gotta give a tip of our hat to a couple of brilliant engineers. One of those is Craftronics, who managed to create a functioning iPhone 6, but asterisks on the functioning. Players can use this blocky iPhone to change backgrounds, pin numbers, select colors, type notes, and even play a version of Flappy Bird. The caveat is that it's missing all the other features of even an average smartphone. Still, that doesn't make this work any less impressive than it already is. Number 5, Grand Train Station, Fire UK. For those unfamiliar, Fire UK was an English team of Minecraft builders known for their grand scale projects and time lapse videos. Grand Train Station was their final project before the team disbanded in 2015, and it's arguably their best one. Featuring a massive lobby, beautiful entrance, and stunning interior, one cannot fathom the amount of hours and manpower it took for the team to fully complete this. Combined with a few trains and a bus stop right outside its doors, Grand Train Station was a fantastic farewell build for the Fire UK team, and we sincerely hope its members have moved on to bigger and better things. Number 4, Minecraft Middle Earth. Welcome Traveller. I see that you are lost on the way to New Zealand. Not a problem. Is the randomly generated world of Minecraft just not big enough for you? Do you desire a bit more magic and wonder? A feeling that can only be satisfied by a fantasy world, particularly one that has already been made? Those nostalgic for a certain franchise will find solace in a massive project simply titled Minecraft Middle Earth. Whether by walking, flying, or teleporting around the map, 
you can see everything we've built. Spanning a map size of 29,000 by 30,000 blocks, this map is a direct recreation of the same world featured in J.R.R. Tolkien's works. Not only that, but Minecraft Middle Earth has become widely known as one of the best Minecraft communities to be a part of. Really, if you aren't a Lord of the Rings fan yet, you will be after exploring this server. So what are you waiting for? Start moving, because who knows what you will come across in your journey. Number 3. Working Computer LEGO Master 99 Yes, someone built an actual functioning computer in Minecraft. YouTuber LEGO Master 99 used a ton of redstone to put this together, and while it doesn't reach the same level of functionality as most computers, what it can do is still a marvel to behold. It can run basic operations such as the Fibonacci sequence and multiplication in addition to drawing. Considering the amount of redstone, tick settings, and computer power you need to assemble and operate this thing is astonishing. You think we'll ever see a Minecraft computer with the capabilities of Windows 95 in the future? Number 2. Disneyland. MC Park's Minecraft Official. Sure, there have been plenty of users who have tried to replicate one of the Disney parks in Minecraft, but to have a whole team and YouTube channel dedicated to the project is another level. And that's why we have to commend MC Park's Minecraft official for their efforts. This isn't just selective parts of the park either. These are full-blown rides. Go. All personnel, clear the launch platform. Space Mountain, The Haunted Mansion, Pirates of the Caribbean, Galaxy's Edge, and even the old Roger Rabbit ride inhabit this virtual park. And before you ask, yes, they have rebuilt Universal Studios and Busch Gardens as well. The accuracy on display is incredible, and if you'd like to lend a hand, they do accept volunteers, just make sure you own the Java edition of Minecraft. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe to Watch Mojo and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Uncensored Library, Blockworks, DDB Berlin, and Media Monks. Never before has Minecraft been so important to the modern world, and it's all because of three organizations, Blockworks, Media Monks, and DDB Berlin. Built in March 2020, the Uncensored Library serves as a safe haven for the freedom of the press, holding thousands upon thousands of articles that have faced censorship in several countries. Part of its gameplay is gathering and crafting items, such as books. Once crafted, books can be written in and shared with other players. It doesn't matter what country you're in, except if you're in the five that have specifically banned this map, or if a particular social media platform blocked you from seeing it. As long as you have Minecraft and download this map, you can read almost anything. On top of that, the library acknowledges those who gave their lives to make their works public. It's this level of preservation that makes the uncensored library the most important creation in Minecraft, video games, and journalism history. We use this style to design a building that represents the freedom of knowledge and the power that the truth has over oppressive government authorities and regimes. In the mood for more awesome gaming content? Be sure to check out this video here on Mojo Plays. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.